Hello folks, and what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at my latest fix. It's on the other side of that. See you in a minute. So there you can see there's, there's the movement there. Now this here, it's a bit grainy, but um, let's put a light on that, shall we? And you can see there, that's the piece of plastic that came out of it. So. What we'll do is we're going to recase this and see what happens. And there we go. Ticking over lovely. Yep, yeah, 24, 24. Keep a good time. Now this is a... Uh, as I say a volcano because of the way if you can see there or well, half tennis ball or whatever but this is not bad for a 40 year old watch and just put this on the here so you can see it a little bit better if you see there it's the same plastic that the movement ring holders in and that's what was jamming it all up so there she is in her glory, 40 years old, in immaculate condition, pole jot, Olympic 80. Never been worn, I don't think. And it's one of the very few Russian watches that's actually got a real glass. That's not acrylic, that's, that's actually real glass. Look at that. Hey, it's just beautiful, that is. So, also as you can see in front of you, is another not been worn very much. This is a Seconda AU10 gold plated. Um, the only problem is, is right, there's something wrong with the, what's it, the, the, the keyless works, it's just not working. So, as it happens, if you remember, I bought two of these like um, Slava movements for about £10 each. Oh, look. That's going to fit exactly that because this is a day date. This is a day date. Exactly the same. I mean, look at that. I mean, there's there's no sign of man gunge anywhere. So I'm quite pleased with that. And to add to that, and you'll be seeing more of these as they come along. These TIN um, watch bracelets. Now I I think they're probably only sort of really for display purposes, but like you know. They do match the TIN on a Vostok watch. Uh, you know, and it's the same sort of TIN process. And the bloke very nicely chucked in an old Soviet kind of like, but I don't know, it's like a pewter effect. Spandable bracelet, 18 mil. That's brilliant. That'll go on something as well. Probably a Vostok. So there you go. Right, so one last gratuitous look at, I don't know, I mean, look at that. It's on one of those new live bracelets I bought a while back. It just looks the business. And it's keeping very, very good time. Right, it's, it's just, yeah, I'm just checking the time. Like, you know, is it 2111? Yeah, but it's just a little, just a touch fast. Oh, how's about that then, right? As you can see in more in profile, why these called volcanoes? Look how deep that is, like, you know, that's, that's very deep. But that's like a brand new watch, 40 years old. Well, 41, because they, they made these in 1979. Done it look good on that bracelet. I mean, wow. I cannot complain. Yep, yeah, it's still keeping very good time, like, you know. This one here, I'm very pleased. I mean, I paid very little for that. Like, you know, if I can get that movement into it, like, you know, it'd be a brand new one, that'd be. So, you know. And I, 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 this is kind of like a stock in trade, like, you know, it's like buying tyres for your car or something like that, like, you know, it's, it's, it's something you've got to get, you know. Um, oh, yeah, this is an update as well. As you can see, this one here, this works beautifully. 
it's not bad for a very, very, very early um, Zachas um, MO order for stop Commandersky. Right, the only thing is, is the tube, as you can see under the stem, it's been stripped. Well, I couldn't find a chrome one, but I found a TIN one, which I've bought. All right, from the gentleman I had bought, um, oh, where are you? I bought my 090 from. Right, I paid, oh, that's my 090, uh, beautiful that is. I love that. Um, that's um, seven pound for a brand new TIM with, with the right, right sort of bezel. Right, and it's got the one o'clock, one to two o'clock um, stem, which is the important thing. Otherwise, I'd have to take the dial and the hands and everything else off, rotate it round to find the holes, put it back together, and put it into a straight three o'clock crown one. I, I don't want to do it. So, you know, that's going to live again, but that's going to be obviously a TIN, and it will be with one of these. So, uh, you know, <laughs> some flopping around, missus. Oh, yeah. So you can you can get an idea of what, where it's going to be at, or you know. I've, I've, I, I swore I was not going to cake it. Going, you know, you know, look, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, gaze up, right? So that one will live again, and that will mean I've got all the Commodore design types of case which is all the rounds all the roundy squares and stars in both finishes of TIN which is titanium titanium uh, nitride um, plating or chromed brass so I have both all right and I will be looking at muriatic acid stripping um, some chromed ones I've got left over which I'm gonna like make into like a bronzy sort of like uh, Kamandersky sort of thing so that's all been going on right I just can't get over that it's just really and all because of that tiny tiny bit of plastic flashing it's not even part of the movement of ring that came out. It's, it, it, I mean, it's like a plastic toenail, or it's um, as you can see. But that was jammed right up the tuckers of the old movement that came out at the number six thing. And like, as soon as it came out, you know, like, it was like a little kind of pin, you know. And the it just started working. And I thought, results. Uh, there's another one added to the fleet. That's um, that's my fifth Olympic 80 watch. Uh, it's like Pokemon. I'm gonna catch them all. Like this, this will be. It's a shame I didn't have a Slava. This is a Slava movement in it. It's a shame I didn't have a Slava um, automatic movement for this because the cases are exactly the same. Uh, this one will live again. And, um, a U10, plenty of gold on that, like, you know. So, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, there's no wear on it. There's no wear on it. The other condo I got the other day, there's no wear on it. So I'm going to put this away in this little plastic. Yeah. Can you hear somebody's horn going off? Uh, well, the local chicken farm's got a... Uh, his skips filled up with the old heads and entrails of chickens at the moment, so we're being played by flies again. I don't know why they just they're just going for me. Oh, it's doing my bloody turnip in. Um, so I'm just sorting out some bits and pieces and stuff like that. You know, yeah, I'm not going, you know, all the time. So, <laughs> um, I haven't done very much else, um, really, I think, I have been going through all my stuff, like, uh, I've been doing a lot of computer remedial work today, the reason being, right, uh, is, um, I, I, up until today, I use something called um, AVG, 
I used AVG antivirus and I used AVG tune up utilities. Now, over the last year, I've noticed my computer has been binding up, and every two minutes it just seems to like halt, oh, just and it's, it goes again. When you're playing World of Warcraft, that is total bollocks, it really is, because you're in a raid and you're like, uh, and just stop dead, whatever you're doing. So I was watching, um, I didn't realise that one of the, the videos I've been watching on and off was actually the chat. I, I kept looking at him and thinking, he doesn't familiar. I mean, he's got a beard longer, not much longer than mine, um, more impressive. I know him from somewhere. And then I saw that he's got the shop in Shaftesbury, which is obviously the next town over. They all came, they all clashed together, like, you know, like two great big bollocks of bollocks. It's like my brain, yeah. oh, it's you, boy, you know. And of course, you know, I'm a bit gushy and stuff like that when I get a bit excited, like, you know. So I was watching, I was watching his take on about AVG and about how AVG sits there and binds your Windows computers, uh, Duty cycles up and it never gets to look idle, and that's exactly what was happening. My, my computer was completely idle, it was completely like cycling up, and two of my cores were being used almost continuously by AVG. So, of course, I thought to myself, it's gonna be a no brainer, isn't it? So, I've put a like Windows Defender on, like the antivirus thing that Microsoft give you, which apparently has improved in the last six months, and I got rid of AVG and like, I've cancelled my subscription with AVG Two Note Utilities because that because they just kept billing me and like kept saying, "Oh, you've got you've got it now," and it's like, well, I didn't actually ask for it." Like, no, um, that's going now. So, and my computer's been a lot quieter. It's been more responsive. So there is some merit in that, you know. If your computer is really really playing up, it's probably down to your free antivirus so um, do look into that and hopefully like you know my latency within world of warcraft doesn't mean i get to the the kill point of the boss and you're like oh, you know and you just stop taking it and then next thing it's like you know everybody's like rolled for stuff and you've missed out on it that's ridiculous and the new video card has been brilliant it's absolutely been brilliant so I hope this finds you all well. I see the, the furor of Mr. Cummings hasn't gone away, which I'm quite pleased about because I'll keep fanning the flame. Like um, American police, you know, are, are dumb as shit. Like you would think, like with all of this going on with the riots and torching, like you know, whole areas and stuff like that, you would think that an old Bill, the first thing he would do is not reach for his gun and shoot an unarmed black bloke. Well, in Atlanta, they don't teach sense because that's exactly what they did. Yeah, fair play to the bloke, they got, his ta they got the taser off of him, but, you know, it's it's un unacceptable, like, unarmed people being shot to death. They, 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 you, there's, no, there's no appeal, you know, if you're walking, you're all dead. Right? And, um, Long, long, long has it been said that American police need to, like, you know, be curtailed. And I think the Atlanta thing has just kind of, instead of actually like, getting a bit of sympathy for the old bill or anything like that, it's actually made people think, this is why we need to take the guns away from those people, because they just cannot, you know, they know that they're going to get away with it. And when you, when you know you're going to get away with it, it's not going to stop you doing it. You take away the qualified immune and a few other bits and pieces and take away the support from you know, their unions and things like that and make them stand trial just like the people that they nick. Then maybe they'll stop shooting people because this is what happened to Chicago in the 60s when they started shooting up um, anti-war protesters against Nixon's war um, in Vietnam and they did they the Chicago police, they just got laid on machine guns out and just started gunning protesters and drilling them on the spot, the whole thing, you know. And it said that the Chicago police force rioted for three days. So, and 
of course, like, you know, it made people in government clamp right down, but this clamping down has kind of been eroded away and they've moved sideways out of it. So they're still able to shoot with impunity. Yeah, and that, yeah, you know, that people have been shot in America for not calling the copper sir. Well, I know what I'd do with that situation because I don't, I don't call anybody sir. My, anybody that deserves my respect may be, but I can tell you this, just because you've got a uniform and a badge on, you, you know, I am not going to call you sir any day soon. I, I wouldn't call the magistrate sir or a judge. Uh, you know, I might call the judge, if I have respect judge, I might call him your honour or something like that. But I ain't calling him sir. Uh, I mean, I am not butt kissing for anybody in a uniform, whatever sort of clown they look like. And this is what America needs to learn. I mean, they don't go about, oh yeah, we took on King George and we got independence. Oh yeah, but you're letting these people gun you down and get away with it. Right? Yeah, I mean, the good thing is, is that America hasn't won a war since leaving the winning side of World War II, like, you know. And um, it does look like the war against its own people will probably end up where the people will actually win. And... Um, <laughs> Because America seems incapable of like winning a war that requires any form of hearts and minds. You know, I mean, if there was a a, a, like, a war that was needed where people stand in like lines across each other, and like the other side doesn't have guns and big targets on their heads, and yet the American side have big guns, and like they'd win that war. But that's what Americans want wars to be like. You know, I mean, when they went into um, What's it, um, Afghanistan? They were like, yeah, we're here, like, you know, stars and stripes, you know, ticker tape and all that. And then you're Afghanistan, so <laughs> yeah, is that right? <laughs> Have some of this IED, boom, blam, boom, you know. And the Afghans have been running rings around the Americans, the British, and they called it the Empire Killer for, for good reason, because it had, the only empire it didn't end was the, um, the British Empire and the Soviet Empire. The Soviet Empire collapsed soon after it left Afghanistan, but the British Empire didn't. Right? And we're the only ones to actually escape the trap of Afghanistan. Why America thought it would get away with it if half the troops and half the logistics that Russia had, I have no idea. But, you know, that's, that's a by the by. So, all I'm going to say is, like, you know, just keep keep pressure on about Dominic Cummings. Like, you know, write your MP, write to the newspapers and say you're disgusted. Uh, you know, the bloke should be arrested for, like, driving like, whilst impaired. The bloke should be arrested for breaking cop lockdown rules. Um, what's it? The parents should be arrested for, like, you know, like, not registering their property and council tax and not doing planning permission. I mean, just keep the pressure on the bastards. This, this, you know, this is the time for us people to shine, and you know, give it some welly, you know. So, last final thoughts on that. There you go. Forty year, well, forty-one year old watch. Look at that. It is like brand new, and I am so pleased with that. I love Moscow. I love Moscow eighty watches. That they're just so cheesy. But this one is lovely. It's, it's pulled yacht, so. It's not bad. Anyway, I'll leave that. No, I'm not going to try and attempt to do any jokes or anything this time around. Uh, you know, that last joke that I cut out is just as well I did because, like, you know, I said something and I said, You're going to put that out there since you would have been arrested. But, you know, hello, I'm being chased by cats. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Look after yourselves. Bye.